Hey guys, so today's video is one that I am actually super excited about. I'm going to be doing a Casey Holmes Made Me Buy It video. I actually see my girl faces by Kate B here on YouTube do the same video and I thought well duh at least a third of my collection was influenced by Casey. I've seen a bunch of different types of these videos like Jaclyn Hill, Carly Bible, Kathleen Light and I thought who to do. She is absolutely one of the most genuine down to earth just beautiful women here on YouTube. She is a top beauty guru although she does do a lot of fashion posts. She's really big into fitness. She does have two dogs um, Daisy and Rose and she has a very handsome boyfriend named Davis who's actually in ranger school. So I'll go ahead and leave all of her inf information down below in case you want to go ahead and check her out. And I'll also link below Faces by Kate B's similar video in case you wanted to check that out as well. So the first thing I'll go ahead and start with are makeup sponges. And the first one that I have is by Real Techniques. It is their Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. And I kind of have mixed reviews about this one. I love the shape. The shape was not a problem. I love how big the, the flat surface is because you can cover so much area. It literally cut down the time to apply my foundation by like half. And then the fact that the, the sides leading up to the point are flat is just perfect for right underneath the eye and the bridge of the nose. The only thing that kind of turns me off about this sponge is its texture. It doesn't feel, it almost feels... I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it doesn't feel, it's not firm. It's not as firm as the Beauty Blender. Maybe that's why. It's a little bit softer and I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure if that affects how product is blended out on the face. I do like this so I will continue to use it. The sponge that she raved about was the new L'Oreal sponge. L'Oreal came out with three or four different sponges. She did an entire video on them. I'll go ahead and link that below as well. And this is the one she raved about the most. I love this one. Since I've gotten this one, I have not even used my Beauty Blender. The round in on this is just the perfect size to blend out your foundation. And then the it does have a point for your concealer. Now in that video, she did mention having to squeeze to get under the eyes. And I have to do that as well. Just because where it is rounded out, at, right here in the middle, it does make it a little bit awkward. Um, to get right underneath the eyes, but once you just squeeze it, I mean it fits under there perfectly. This blends out foundation like a dream. I absolutely love this sponge. And the next two things that I have are foundations. The first one, she did a full review video probably about eight or nine months back. It was back in the summer. Now, Casey does have oily skin. I also have oily skin. Hers is a bit more oily than mine. Mine is more normal to oily to where I don't have to blot the first foundation is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I have mine in the shade 9 Neutral. I love this. It is a dope foot applicator. And it kind of has a little bit of a pink smell. But this, the finish on this is just absolutely beautiful. It says this foundation and concealer in one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel. I absolutely agree with that. And it says naturally flawless look glass all day. I wear this almost all the time to work. This is more of my self tan shade. So if I'm not self tan, I usually wear the foundation that I'm going to share with you next. But last Thursday, I wore this to work. I put it on at about 7.30 in the morning and I worked until about 5.30 and then I went out to dinner with some friends and I didn't get home till about 9. My makeup still looked absolutely flawless. This foundation is beautiful. And what really sold me on it was when Casey said that it made her look poreless because I do have enlarged pores right on the, I'm sorry guys, didn't mean, right on the apples of my cheeks and this did not accentuate them. This helps make you look just airbrushed and absolutely beautiful. I love this foundation. And the next one is the Sonia's Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. I have mine in the shade 02 Vanilla. Now this shade is pretty light for me, but once I'm warming up with some bronzer, I'm usually okay. This as well, I absolutely love this. This does have a little bit lighter coverage than the Clinique. However, it is buildable. So with one layer, it usually just evens out my skin tone 
with two you have a nice medium to full finish also a long wearing foundation i'm not sure if it's as long wearing as the clinique because i've only really worn this to work i haven't really worn it longer than about eight hours but i have to say it did last the full eight hours it did not break up it did not get patchy i had no oil speaking through i absolutely love this foundation the next product that i have will come as no surprise to you guys because she is at, she is still raving about them and it is the Eyelore Make Effect Lashes. Now, Casey likes the style Gilded. I tried those and I don't know if it's just my eye shape. I'm not, I can't even describe. They were just too much for my eye shape. So I went ahead and tried the shade, the shade. I went ahead and tried the style Opulent. And these are beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. I use, I wear, my go-to lashes are either the Ardell 110s or Ardell 120s. The, the 110s are more of an everyday, like if you're going shopping, lunch, you just want to spruce up your makeup look. The 120s are more of a more of a night out lash. I have not even touched my Ardell lashes since I bought these. Now these are a bit more pricey than the Ardell. I think these are $11.99 and the Ardell are like $5 to $6.99. So it's about double the price, but these, these are amazing. The next item will probably come as no shock because I think everyone who loves Casey has at least tried this once. And it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have not taken the plunge and bought the full size and I have no idea why. Because this is literally my fourth bottle. And as you can see, it is, it's almost gone. So I think once I finish this, I will go ahead and just purchase the full size. Um, but I love this. Like I said, I do have oily skin. And this primer just makes me feel refreshed, hydrated. This is just great. No bad things to say about this. The thing I have is skincare. It is the Bosha Charcoal Pore, the the Bosha Charcoal Pore Pudding Intensive Wash Off Treatment. It's just a face mask. Um, I am also acne prone, as Casey is, and I just find that anytime that my face is feeling extra moody or I'm having little pop ups or it's around that time of the month. I will go ahead and use this and it just makes my face look so good. As you can see, I am almost out. Um, it does have a very, very strong charcoal scent. I will say that. But you put this on your face and you leave it on for 30 minutes, wash it off. Guys, as soon as you wash this off, you can see results almost instantly. And then the next day that you wake up, your skin just looks absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. I only got the sample because the full size one is a bit pricey, but around the holidays, Bosha had this little pack where you can get this, the cleanser, and one other product, and it was cheaper than buying the full size of this, so I thought that would be the perfect time to try it, and I love this. Once I run out, I would definitely, definitely be buying the full size. The last products that I have are lip products. I have two high-end and two drugstore, so I'll go ahead and start with the high-end, and the first one is the... Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Disorderly. During the holidays, I was looking for a color that was more of a red-brown. Not so much a true red or orange-based red. I wanted more like a brown red. And I really couldn't find one. I heard Casey raving about Smashbox Liquid Lipstick Formula. Go ahead and swatch this for you. So that is the color right there. And as you can see, it's just a really deep reddish brown. And I absolutely love this, guys. I put this on and it did not budge. It lasted all night. It was very comfortable. It was just a tad bit drying. Just a little bit, not even enough to complain about. But I just started using a balm and then put this on. And it's through eating, drinking, talking. Love these. Next liquid lipstick that she recommended was the Sephora... The Sephora Rouge Cream Lip Stain. I got the shade 13 Marvelous Mauve. She was raving about number 24. Um, but when I went to order these, they didn't have they didn't have that one in stock. But this color nonetheless is absolutely gorgeous. If you see my Sephora haul, you would have seen me unbox this. And this is the color right there. And it's just your the perfect everyday dusty rose color. I actually wear this color a lot to work and I put it on about 7.30 in the morning. I go to lunch and I, and it lasts until lunch. Once I go to lunch, it does fade a little bit with eating and drinking. Once I come back from lunch and I reapply or I touch up, 
It lasts for the rest of the day. I have to say the Sephora one is probably the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have ever tried. And the last two I have are from the drugstore. The first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint. I did get mine in the shade Spicy Blush. And this is more, this will not dry down to a flat matte. It's more of a high pigmented gloss. But it's a very long wearing. And it's one of those lip products that once it does completely wear off, you will still have a bit of the color stain. And so that is it right there. Very similar to the Sephora. Except I find this one has a little bit more, a little bit less purple and a little bit more paint. paint and a little bit more pink. These are very comfortable. They do, because it is a gloss and it does not dry down to a flat matte, it does transfer a little bit with a dope foot applicator. And I have to say, these, this applicate. This doe foot applicator is the best I have ever tried. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it has like a really exaggerated dip. And, oh, and it cups that bottom lip perfectly. And the last little product I have is from Essence. I think this was like $1.50 at Ulta. And I got it in the shade Almost Real. And this, it says liquid lipstick, but it is more of kind of like the paint. It's a, it's an intense gloss, except these will not leave your lips stained. These are more of a true gloss, but very pigmented. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. So these are more of a gloss formula as well, so they are going to transfer a little bit. But these, I wear this one to work often as well because it is just a beautiful nude. It's very similar to the L'Oreal except it does have a little bit more pink in it. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll go ahead and leave Casey's video down below because I know you guys are absolutely going to love her as much as I do. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.